the proud Kenya Sevens team, Shuja, find themselves in unfamiliar territory. Ranked 13th in the 2022 2023 HSBC World Seven Series standing, their 24 year stay as a co status team is under threat. Kenya has the last two legs of the series to lose Sevens in France and London Sevens in England to escape relegation. Head coach Damien McGrath maintains the team is well aware of the task at hand. Everybody understands the enormity of the situation and um, the last three weeks we've had to prepare have been as shambolic as the whole season you know, in terms of problems and issues and yet through that the players have, have displayed an admirable uh, approach to training. We've Take yesterday, for example, we, we went to the field to find out we could only use half of it because the other half was destroyed by um, shot puts and hammers and there was no lines. And yet, you know, we could, the players could easily use that as an excuse, but we, you know, they knuckled in and, and made the best of it. And, and the, that type of thing has been, has been uplifting in that they haven't thrown the towel in. Shuja has struggled since they stunned the world and won the 2016 Singapore Sevens title. An aging squad, administration dispute at Kenya Rugby Union, and sponsor flight are some of the factors that have contributed to the decline. With a new team at the helm of the KRU, including decorated former captain Humphrey Kayange, there is optimism a revival can start in Toulouse and London. We've seen a transition from your 2016 team to the team now. Uh, you've seen players who, even in 2016, they've been there. We've been there. We've been there for almost 12, 13 years. We've seen a team that has had uh, quite some influx of young talent, which is which is good for growth of the game. It shows the game is growing and it's not the players are moving on, younger players are coming in to, to, to wear the shirt. So it's been a lot of transition, so a, a, a lot of um, the change might, might affect how we would want it to play or co our consistency at, at the top. Uh, development is a big thing and, and uh, um, um, as uh, places where we sit in, in, in terms of uh, the role of the board is just to ensure that players that are uh, put out there to the national, uh, to the World Series have gone through at least some development pathways to ensure that they are ready for, 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 for that so that you don't have, um, I mean, performances going, uh, oscillating up and down. This season's HSBC Series is also serving as a qualifier for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Continental giant South Africa has also been struggling this season, and if they don't make the top four, Kenya faces a daunting task to qualify for the Summer Games. They will need to top the blitz box at the Africa qualifiers to earn an automatic ticket. Me and Ogueno, we pray every day for it. So. <laughs> uh, short of throwing games against them, we, 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 we always hope that South Africa do well. But, but I think, for, in all seriousness, South Africa's position gives you an idea of just how strong the World Series is. They're, they're the world champions, the tier one nation with, with players, they can choose players from everywhere and yet they're struggling uh, for all their, you know, all their talent and all their resources. It gives you a, just an indication of how tough the World Series of Sevens is now. Those days when you could look at a group and, and pick a, an easy win, a gimme here, and a, those days are longer. Every team can beat every team. <laughs> The team of 15, selected by McGrath to travel to Toulouse and London earlier this week, has Kenya's destiny on its hands. Their mission is to ensure one of the beloved teams of the HSBC series has its place in the top tier for the next season. Muturi Kaibere, CGTN.